All right, this is one of our little 5.56 uh, SBR rifles that we put together. It's got the uh, Lancer Systems carbon fiber handguard, one of the Wheaton Arms titanium muzzle brakes. It has a CMC trigger, uh, one of their, what they call their duty triggers, which is a 4.5 pound single stage trigger that's designed specifically for law enforcement and military. Then the, uh, your upper and lower receiver, just your you know standard real spec stuff with a uh, Magpul MOE buttstock and a mil spec buffer tube. Little loophole Mark IV, one and a half to five scope on the top of it with uh, your BCM charging handle. Just to give you a little larger latch over here to clear your scope so it's easier to charge the rifle. Barrel on this one is, uh, it's got an eight and a half inch barrel, a little Noveski barrel, and it is uh, literally a blast to shoot. So let's, uh, let's burn a little bit of powder. As you can see, the little rifle, we just ran 60 rounds through it and uh, everything ran flawlessly. There's been a lot of internet controversy over the little short barreled guns where a lot of people say anything under you know 10.3 or 10.5 inches, the guns just aren't reliable anymore. Um, when you get down to the, to the pistol length gas tubes on these little rifles, they're just not reliable. And that's just not the case. If the rifle is built correctly, and all the parts are assembled like they're supposed to be, these little guns can be as reliable or more reliable than a 16 and 18 or a 20 inch gun with different length gas systems. But what makes this reliable over others? So, several of the big things with these little guns that increase reliability is the, one of the biggies is the gas port size. You, you have to be very, very specific with your gas port size. If it's too big, the gun's going to be overgassed and it's going to try and unlock early while uh, while the pressure is still really high in the chamber. The uh, If the gas port hole is too small, you're not going to have enough gas in the gun for it to unlock before the bullet exits and the gas pressure drops. So the gas port size is it's very specific with these little guns. As long as you've got the port size correct, these little guns can run properly. Um, another thing that you want to keep an eye on is your extractor and your extractor spring. You want to make sure that you've always got a, a good extractor, a good extractor spring, and uh, the little rubber insert in it. And with those parts, these little guns can run, they can run flawlessly. Um, be careful about whose barrel you buy. Um, if you're building a short, a really short gun, there's a lot of companies out there that make and sell short barrels. There's a few companies out there that make and sell really good short barrels. So just do your research and make sure you buy from a reputable a reputable barrel manufacturer. Robbie the camera did this. I looked up, I was doing this. I looked up, I went, oh shoot. So I don't know how much we got out of that. <laughs> so, you can see there's a, with a muzzle brake on the little eight and a half inch gun, there is a tremendous amount of gas coming out the side of this, uh, enough to turn the camera while we were shooting. Now, uh, this is the one that we shot with uh, Bill, that you did for Bill. That's right, that's that right. Had the, but on this <laughs> short barrel, man, that is unbelievable. It's, a, it's an amazing amount of gas that's coming out of this little gun. But it's, you know, recoil-wise, the gun's very controllable. It's very easy to shoot other than the, uh, other than the blast. <laughs> 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 Easiest way to get in touch with us is go to our website, wheatonarms.com. We've got a contact link on our website. Uh, you can email us through our contact. Or we've got our telephone number and our physical address if, uh, if you're in the area and want to stop by and visit with us. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic.